All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to try to explain how to take elevations for a given like a fence height and have actually very minimal math uh, instead of taking each individual shot, adding the whatever you just need to get to the full height, and then having your height. So we just take the uh, measurement that we shoot, put it down on the table, find a constant, offset the tape, and cut. So that's this is the learn method I learned when I was an apprentice. Uh, it's not in the apprenticeship book anymore. Uh, they changed it. They've changed it a few times, but this used to be in there. It's a pretty, very convenient method for taking elevations and cutting material in the field. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to zoom in here. We got a laser, and it's going across. Just as just just got to be higher than the highest point, right? And we're going to take a shot there, and it's a five foot. At this location, it's a five foot uh, height to here, right? This dashed line, that's our imaginary height of the fence. So if you shoot the laser or you shoot your builder's level and you're shooting tw 22 and a quarter. And then uh, what you need to do is find this constant right here. So uh, 60 minus 22 and a quarter gives you 37 and three quarters. That's this dimension right here. Thirty-six and a quarter. Thirty-six. Uh, something messed up. Thirty-seven three quarters. All right. That's our constant. So, in the field, you could, if you have a table saw, a uh, radial saw, or you can put that. Uh, just use material. This is the way it usually went. So, back in the day, we used to see a lot of radial arm saws on the in the field, and. Uh, so there's your constant. So you cut a piece that's at constant length, the 37 and three quarters, and then you measure over your 22 and a quarter. That, that's your measured piece, right? That's your measured height of the laser. So the two of those together ends up being 60. So you use your constant, you measure over 22 and a quarter, you cut it at 22 and a quarter, and that's your 60, 60 inch length. And then the next one, Let's say you get your chart, you bring it over. This was very common. I had charts like this when I was cutting. And uh, the next one is 35 and 3 quarters. So let me go from here, delete that, and go measurement. Point relative 35.75 and then let the two of those together would be 73 and a half so if you go back up here you look at the height of this one the total height will be 73 and a half <laughs> And it'd be the same for all the rest of them like that. And it's the same thing on a radial arm saw, except you use that 37 and 3 quarters. That's your offset, and that's where you start your tape. You'd have a tape that you could tack up to the back. It was a metal tape, and it was just tacked to the back, and you could uh, run your dimensions right there like this. Uh, the first one was 22 and a quarter, right there. Give you 60 inches, and then we just did the same thing like there. Whatever that, whatever that next one was. That's the way it works. So it's very little math, kind of useful. Uh, and then let's say you got to make a step. So let's take the laser and move it down because it's getting pretty tall. You're already measuring 70, 79 inches. You probably can't reach any more than that. So the next one's going to be here. So what you'll do is you'll catch a second shot on the same. The same one there. So we'll move it down over here somewhere. So 
got to just got to be higher than that. So let's run a laser line from that. So it's just got to catch it this same same uh, location here. We're going to do something. There's a couple ways to do it. You could just take the overall piece. Let's say this one was uh, the overall height to this one. I'll show you both ways. There's probably more. So the last one you cut would be, well, let's just do the constant just like we would do. All right. So 79, so the next one here would be get rid of that. Measure like this, point relative 79 even. So then what we'll do is we'll just take that overall measurement for the overall height, just like we did in the original. So now this, the, the height of the fence is uh, 116 and 3 quarters. We're going to measure this at 4. Alright, 29 and an 8th. So then we're going to take this and we're going to go back. This goes away, right? Oh, not yet. Let's go measurement. X and negative. Point relative. Negative. What we said it was 29 and 1 8. Forget 29 and an 8. Then you end up using this piece. Get rid of that. Making a new piece. That's your new uh, constant length, right? So you cut a new piece, whatever that length is, right? And then that should be the same height as this, right? So then you go to the next one, and the measurement here would be. Seventy-seven and three quarters. Right there. Point relative. Seventy-seven point seven five. Enter. All right, and get rid of this. Get rid of that. It's a new new one. And maybe I'll put the dimension in there so we can check to make sure that looks right. Anyways, this would be the next height right there, that total total run right there. And you end up with 165 and 3 eighths. So right here. You have the 165 and 3 eighths. Alright. And then the same thing down here, you just do the same thing, whatever this dimension is, HK. And it, honestly, it's just a good method for minimizing the amount of math. 100, you have, if you know the method, you set the method up once, you check it, and it's good, and you can run all through all your cuts. Just number your pieces and cut your cut your lengths. So the next one was uh, 100, and a, 100 and a quarter. You just keep feeding the material. You know, what I'm to the anyways, that's it. And then uh, 100 and a quarter. And the overall length of the last piece right there would be 
187 and 7 eighths. So let's just check that and then confirm that everything is working and the method works, right? So there's a, that's, I learned that out of a book. Like I said, it's not in the book anymore. Pretty useful method for minimizing your math. You just take shots right down in your table. You transfer your table over with the constant or the, the piece with the constant or your offset from the table, the saw here with your constant. So this here basically is just control C, control E. Basically just goes right there. That's your constant piece. And then that's where you would start your new tape right there. It's just the same as what we had down here. It's just mirrored, mirrored image. I hope that helps in your career. Hope so. Hope, and I hope, I hope it uh, helps you understand the methods that are used because these are the same principles that are going to use pretty much in every time every time you go out and take elevations on something like this. Uh, make you more confident. The more you know about it, the more you know how the numbers work. Uh, up is down, down is up, that's all great, but what you need to understand the concept and why, and that's, uh, like I said, hope that helps in your career. Been a while since I did any videos. Uh, this one was old school, helped me understand, helped me make a lot of money, and hope it does the same for you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.